PhD, Certified SBAC Designer, among so many certifications offered by ASHRAE, CSD is the most prestigious one. Now the question is, why you should take this exam and how to pass it? Let's talk about why you should take this exam. The very first solid reason is that it is going to elevate your reputation and career opportunities. If you pass the SD exam, it means you're absolutely fantastic SBSC guy. You can solve all the critical problems relevant to SBSC. You know all the relevant guidelines that need to be known as a SBSC expert. And you can also be found at the Ashes database that gives a very solid reason. If you go, go to the Ashes database and search by country or by name, people are going to find you as the expert. And after your name, you can showcase this alphabet, C, A, S, D in cap, showing that you are a certified SBSC designer. Now, as you thought to be a CSD, let's talk about exam and all the information that you need to know regarding the exam. First of all, uh, the exam is actually a MCQ exam. There are three options for each question. You have to choose one and there are no negative marking. There are 120 questions in the exam. 20 questions are unmarked. You are going to get two hours and 30 minutes in the exam, 30 minutes extra if you are a non-native English speaker. Passing mark for the exam is 70%. You can see the exam online or at the Criterion Center nearby you. Cost of the exam. The, for the ASHRAE member, the cost of the exam is $395. US If you are not a member, you have to spend $595. US and if you are a member for a developing country, the exam fee is very low for you. It is going to be $235. US now check the ASHRAE website for the updated pricing because it varies time to time. And there are always some discount. Look at the website for detail and current pricing. Now let's talk about where are the questions from. ASHRAE divides all the course material in four major domains. The very first domain is about conceptualization and high level design understanding. This is all about your experience and real life application. About 40 questions are expected to come from the system design alone at the domain one. The second domain is all about design calculations. About 30 questions are expected to come from domain two. In this particular segment, you have to solve about 30 to uh, 35 uh, math problems. Procedural, for the procedural, we get 10 questions only. And regarding coordination and with other individuals and team members, there are about 20 questions coming from the coordination part. So th these are the four domains. And uh, as we proceed with the other details regarding to the exam, this thing will be more clear to you. Now let's talk about how to prepare for the exam and how we are going to give you the support that is needed for the exam. As you register with our course, the very first thing we are going to do is we are going to have a live personal one-to-one -one session on Zoom or any other platform of choice. And we'll talk about the high level preparation for the exam. This is a very important input from us because all of you who are watching this video are from different background. Some of you are electrical engineer, others are mechanical engineer. Some of you are very experienced in the projects, others can be very experienced in the design sector. So as everyone is from different background, we as a trainer need to understand you. We need to understand the needs and we need to align and make plan as you need it. And after the very first live session, we got the plan then you have to start watching our classes. The first class is about SBAC fundamental. And at the fundamental, you are going to get a review of all fundamental stuff that need to be known as a SBAC engineer. There are a few questions 
uh, from uh, fundamental that will be coming in the final exam. After that, we are going to go through the ASHA 55. ASHA 55 standard, this is about environmental conditions for human occupancy. These actually uh, make the design requirements clearer to us. And you are expecting a few questions coming from this segment at the final exam. The third class is about load calculation fundamental. This particular class is totally focused on learning how to do load calculation from ground zero. Moving on at the fifth number serial, the load calculation, we are going to focus on the CSD exam preparation and we are going to get through all the uh, handbook standards of the ASHRAE and we are going to understand the requirements of ASHRAE for the load calculation to make you exam prepare. There are going to be at least 15 questions coming from load calculation alone. Then we are looking for dark design. We are going to focus on learning how to dark design, uh, ESP calculation, oval dark design, round dark design, rectangle dark design, um, and all the softwares um, we'll be discussing here. And after that, at the uh, serial number seven, we got dark design. So seventh class, this one is focused on CSD exam preparation. What we did, we have gone through all the ASHRAE manuscripts, manuscripts and we brought and compiled all the important topics relevant to dark design at a single note. So if you go through the note and watch the class, you're going to get prepared about dark design. Then we got ASHA 62.1, there's a class on this. So this is going to be about the ventilation requirement, um, very small class, and we are going to get uh, at least two, three questions from ASHA 62.1. So this is important. After this, we are going to go for hydronics. So all the uh, relevant topic focused on the CSD exam preparation, we'll be discussing on this particular hydronic topic relevant to uh, piping design, fitting selection, and uh, closed loop piping system, open loop piping system, hydraulic calculation, uh, net positive suction head calculation, palm selection, all these topics will be discussed here. That is going to elevate your learning as a HBSC expert. And also you're going to know all the rules and regulation that is mentioned in ASHRAE relevant to hydronics. At the 10th class, we are going to have some review and recap at this uh, position, we would like you to uh, make a revision of all these you have learned. And if you have any question that uh, need to be answered or you might need a longer session with me, you can have it now. Depending on your requirement, you can uh, have this rec recap class earlier or later. That totally depends on you. However, during all these classes, if you have any question, I'm always available at WhatsApp. Moving on with the 11th session, this one is about the system and equipment. We'll go through the handbook and important topic of the exam relevant to system and equipments. Then we are going to have ASHA 202 commissioning. This is the final recorded class for you. You're going to go through this particular class and seal the deal. You have gone through all you need to go through to make you prepare for the exam. Finally, as you get the exam date, we are going to have a review recap session. This particular session is designed, this is actually a live session, is designed to make you prepare for the exam, just it. During this preparation, you're going to go through all the classes. But this particular class is the most important live session for your preparation. And you can have it after you take the date of the exam. Now, having all this done, you can go and sit for the exam. And I can personally guarantee you, you're going to pass the exam. After every topic, we're going to have um, mocks like this. So you can go and test yourself based on every topic. And also for now, you can go through our website. All the details are here and all the service policies are here. I would like you to go through the service policies and how we are going to provide you the service that you need to pass the exam. 
And let's go through the corporate policy and easy refund policy that we are having. And I would also request you to go through our um, YouTube channel there. You, you can find so many um, short clips relevant to the exam. And you can have an understanding about the classes also, what we are talking about, what you're focused in, that's all. So take your time. And if you have any question, let us know. You can easily reach us. Uh, if you go to our website, we are available in WhatsApp. We got the YouTube channel link here, the LinkedIn, the Facebook, everything is in here. Anytime you need our support, just uh, go to the website and uh, check us. Thank you, everyone. Let's meet very soon. I wish all the luck to you. Have a nice rest of the day. Goodbye.